back to the channel. I'm back in the beautiful English Lake District. It was supposed to be light showers. <laughs> it's been nothing but. Got about a six and a half K or around like four miles or so hike to get to my destination for today. Probably gonna take a little bit longer just because of the, uh, the conditions and I have to be pretty careful walking on this for obvious reasons. But I'm just gonna get my head down and try to get up this first climb and then I'll get back with you when it flattens out and we can hopefully see our destination for the night. Good hiking. This is a bit tricky. Ooh. Beautiful though. The only thing that's not wet right now are my feet, surprisingly. A lot of water. The amount of rain we've gotten this winter is unbelievable. I want to say I heard it was the wettest February, which, I mean, I don't doubt it. The road to our village is flooded three times already. And yesterday evening, we got a weather warning that we're saying it could flood again. So I'm gonna get up into this valley. Uh, I don't know, see what the conditions are like because the winds are supposed to be 35 to 40 miles per hour, which is fine. The tent I have can handle that. But if I'm not gonna get any views that I was hoping for, <laughs> I could pretty much just be pitched anywhere and it's gonna look the same. So we'll see once we get there. To head down this way for another got another two and a half miles or two miles rather there's a really nice area out this way with some great views and that was the intention but like I said if I can't see anything there's no reason to be in this kind of exposed area so I'm gonna go a bit. Ah. I'm gonna go a bit further and try to find an area that's sheltered. I probably will not pitch in the area that I was intending to, just because it was a bit exposed. Just one of those camps that's not really turning out the way I would have liked it to. That's the footpath over there. <laughs> it's, it's part of the stream now. So I'm just kind of having to walk oh, through these 
rocks. Just watch my step. The wind blew me over, right into that. Now my foot. <laughs> oh wait, I just gotta take a second. Yeah, so my feet are wet now. <laughs> or one of them is rather. There's really, you know, you can either choose to walk on the rocks and try not to slip or sink that went ankle deep one of these. I just gotta put away the camera for a bit and just focus on what I'm doing. So off in the distance there, that was our intended destination over that little hill in the center. I'm supposed to go up that, so I might go up that and just see what it looks like. And if it's uh, not suitable, I'll drop back down over here uh, near the tarn and hopefully it'll be low enough to kind of be out of some of the wind. It's actually right here, the wind's significantly better than it was over there. I'm making my way up to that hill now. Just sandwiched right over here. I'm gonna go up and over that and drop down. See what it looks like. I'm completely soaked at this point. Um, I'm not gonna get views at the elevation that I was planning to camp. So as you can see. So I'm just gonna try to find a sheltered spot. <laughs> oh, there's been nothing around here. nothing around here and it's just too windy. I considered down there but underneath all that grass and moss it's just rock. It's just a thin covering over it. Definitely not going to my destination. There should be a nice, not a not a peak, but a nice mound with uh, Scoffell right above it in the background. As you can see, that's not there. All you see is this big kind of gully down there. Look at the look at how fast the wind's moving through it. It would be crazy to camp up there. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, way too dangerous. All that wind 
everything's just being funneled down through here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back and then head towards Great Inn, which is actually right there. You just can't see it. And maybe try to go on the other side of that. See if there's a bit less wind since it's coming from the southwest. Oh wow, look at it clear up. Well, you still can't see it, but... Jeez. can't even... Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna turn back. I gotta find a more suitable spot. Continuing to search. I've headed over. This is geez, this is great end directly in front of me. Place I've been to quite often. I'm heading this way hoping to find a spot. Again, the wind's coming from this direction. You can see it. I'm trying to find a nice sheltered area. Maybe set the tent up. down here see what it's like down there that's where we hiked in from out that way look at this view though so I have about an hour and 50 minutes before sunset so I gotta get a move on it to to find a spot. I've considered down there, but it's pretty boggy. This area is somewhat flat up here. But now, I kind of got my eyes set up there, just down from that cliff. So I may head up that way real quick. Yeah, not crossing the footpath is right there. Probably not gonna cross here. Go up a little ways. The wind's coming from the total opposite direction now as well. I do need to find a spot to fish soon though. I think I found an area to pitch. It's kind of enclosed here. I'm still getting winds from the south, uh, southwest, but it's nothing like it was uh, off in the distance, actually, way out there is where we were. So I'm gonna look around, but it looks like there might be some flat spots over here, over here. This should work for tonight.
be out of that wind. It took quite a while to get the tent up. This area is just littered with rocks. So uh, it was quite difficult, but I was finally able to do it. I'm starting to shiver pretty bad though, so I need to get these wet clothes off and get some dry clothes on. I'll get back with you once I'm a little more comfortable. Alright, finally a little more comfortable. Everything in my bag got wet. Oh man, the pack cover completely soaked through. My waterproofs completely soaked through. Uh, so my pants down to my underwear was soaked. I did not bring backup pair of trousers. I typically have long johns with me, but I didn't really feel it was cold enough, so I didn't bring any. Uh, so I am literally sitting here stark naked from here down. I just have my wool that I was wearing on top of me because even though it's wet, it's still extremely warm, so that's keeping my legs warm right now. It started to get really, really cold, which is never good when you're that soaked. Luckily, my sleeping bag is fine and I had a extra shirt and my puffy so I'm plenty warm but it's probably going to be pretty miserable in the morning when I have to hike out of here uh, with all this wet gear because it's supposed to continue raining pretty much through the night and into tomorrow. The winds are supposed to die down though tomorrow morning. What time? I don't know. It's been changing. It actually might start dying down as I'm hiking out but I've found a pretty nice spot here, which is pretty sheltered on at least three sides. So although I'm getting some wind, it's wind I can control because I know it's coming from this direction, which is what I wanted with the tunnel tent. Everywhere else it was just kind of circling, which was not ideal. And it was way stronger than it was forecast to be, especially in the valley there. So I'm still a bit cold, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and blow my sleeping pad up and actually get into my sleeping bag for just a little bit just to get my body temperature back up and then I'll get back with you guys and it'll probably be time for dinner. feel potentially hypothermic, which is a good thing. I'm actually just in my sleeping bag just to remain warm. There's so much wet gear, I don't even know what to do with it. I've got important stuff like my underwear <laughs> and uh, my base layer shirt, which I really don't need, but I know it'll dry quickly, so I'm trying to dry it on the line. That's why it looks like I'm doing laundry in here. As you can hear, it's pretty, pretty terrible outside. It comes in waves though. I ended up hiking around four and a half miles altogether. I never actually made it to my final destination. As I showed you, I turned back and I headed back the way I came and then I came actually a little more east. Just made my way into this little alcove here. So the tent's perfectly fine regardless of how strong the gusts get because it's always going to be coming through here. I just have all my waterproofs, my trousers just kind of in a wet pile over here. I don't really know what to do with them. I don't want to hang them just yet because I'm kind of moving in here. But eventually when I go to bed I'll hang them. I may, if I'm brave enough, try to put the trousers back on and then get into my sleeping bag. It's not very comfortable at first, but over time it actually will dry out the trousers. So I may do that. I haven't decided yet because I'm feeling pretty cozy as it is right now. If not, I'll just put them on wet in the morning and hike out of here. It'll be miserable, but it is what it is. Alright, I think it's time to get a warm meal in me. 
because it is cold, wet, and nasty. Alright, tonight on the menu, Korean beef over rice. Really simple, pretty quick, at least when I'm cooking it at home, <laughs> and extremely tasty. I'm very excited for this one.
All right, there it is, my Korean beef with a sad looking egg. Usually I like to do it over easy, but it, the yolk broke, so, oh well. Super simple, really good, uh, especially if you're making it for like a family, because it, it can feed a lot. It's super tasty. Oh yeah. Sweet, a little spicy. Excellent. So, pretty glad I'm done cooking. The winds have been crazy, even in this sheltered location. As you can hear right now, it's not too bad. But every once in a while, big gusts will come through here. Got hit by such a big gust. I thought a guy line had come loose because it deformed the tent more than I've seen before. I do think I need to get out there and retension the guys though because uh, it is bending in, especially the, the vestibule, quite a bit more than usual. So I just need to go check them. But I'm going to enjoy this first. And then. Crack open a beer. I think I earned this one today. Cheers, guys. Excellent. Well, I am absolutely starving, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Didn't figure out what I'm gonna do. Go retention the guys. Whoa. Yeah, the winds are ridiculous. And it didn't it doesn't help that I wasn't able to get a bunch of the stakes in properly. All rock underneath me. Not sure what I'm gonna do to go out there. I'll have to wait for a break in the rain since my waterproofs are completely soaked and this is the only dry stuff I have left on. Whoa! Yeah, it shouldn't have been. Something has to have come loose. All right, I'm gonna have to wait on food and go check the guys now. Get back with you soon. Just a helpful tip, since I didn't bring my kettle, I have to use this to boil water in the morning, but it was also my food bowl. Just uh, put a little water in it and then boil it with a lid on, and that cleans both the, in this case, the fry pan and the bowl. And then once it's done boiling, you just wipe it out. And as you can see, it is perfectly clean now. I thought I found a nice protected space, but I'm still getting the big gusts. I just checked the inReach weather report, and it's supposed to increase until around 3 a.m., and then it's going to start decreasing. So the worst of the winds will be at around 3 a.m., 2 to 3 a.m., 40 mile per hour gusts which isn't too bad. At least it's not like it was where I was planning on camping. That was crazy. I could barely stand up. It actually knocked me over a couple times too. So I'm, I'm happy with my decision not to, to head over that way. Although I am in the Nimage, which I gotta say, this is probably my favorite two-man tent of all time. It just handles the weather really well. It's spacious. Really love this tent. Yeah, this turned out to be one of the more miserable camps, at least miserable hikes. Really happy to get out though. <laughs> Just not the the trip I had I had planned, but I kept postponing and postponing because every day I was available to go, it was raining, and then finally came to this day was available and it was raining again I said the heck with it I'm just gonna go 
I just can't keep postponing it because of the rain. Especially because there's about to be midterm break in another, what, two weeks, so. So my family's traveling again. So I just wanted to get out for a camp. I really needed it. I was happy I found this spot, though. I am absolutely beat. I'm just going to go ahead and go to bed because I'm sure probably around 1 to 3 a.m. I'm going to get woken up by some of these winds. So I'm just going to hit the hay now. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> this is some oh, camp. So three of the, uh, well, two of the guy lines and one of the pegs on uh, the tent corner came out. It is 12.41 a.m. Oh, yeah, the worst of it's supposed to be around 3 a.m. with 40 uh, mile per hour gusts. Or higher I, I, I honestly don't know um, it's pretty calm at the moment which is good in a break in the rain so I was able to go out and oh wow it's fucking up big time I was able to go out and uh, fix the pegs and find rocks I had to put on all my wet stuff but I will say the reason I wear wool is because even though this is wet it's I mean it's it's wet, but it feels more damp when it gets wet like this. Uh, it's still warm. So even when wet, wool's warm. And so that's typically why I choose to bring it on rainy. Rainy camps. So I'm actually in all my wet stuff right now. Uh, but this is... This is what I'm going to hike out in tomorrow, and I'll be plenty warm. Definitely an eventful night. <laughs> Alright, back to sleep. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. much more brutal than that. That was a really long night. As expected, I was woken up <laughs> by the winds and pretty much kept up. They calmed down a little bit, which is good. Uh, I got another weather forecast update at around 3, 4 a.m. on the Garmin. So it says only 25 mile per hour gusts right now, which seems about accurate. It has calmed down quite a bit. Through the night, it was around uh, 40, easily around 40, uh, if not greater. You kind of get that funneling effect. But yeah, I thought I picked a sheltered spot, but <laughs> the wind changed directions and it was swirling. I was getting hit from this side and that side. So it was broadsiding the tent, which isn't the best for the tunnel tent, but she held up well. I love this tent. Just having the extra space is absolutely incredible. It's really hard to go back to um, a true one-man tent. One and a half, definitely okay. Uh, but I think I'm starting to prefer the two-man tents now, especially with camera gear like a tripod and a big camera. All right, I'm gonna get up. I think I might actually forego the coffee this morning. With these, some of these gusts, I just, the way it's collapsing the vestibule, I just don't know if I uh, wanna take the risk. So I may just tough it out and just try to get out of here. 
because the winds are supposed to increase again and it's supposed to be a hundred percent chance of rain heavy rain as well so i think i just want to get out of here oh. it's looking grim outside Got a puddle. The winds were so strong last night. I have both the netting and this uh, thicker breathable material closed, but the winds were pushing the rain through it. And you can see it just collects and then sprays into the vestibule. So I had to close the inner of the tent just so I wouldn't get spray on me. <laughs> Nemo pad did really well again. Absolutely loving this thing. It's been really warm. It was only that very first time that it took a little bit to warm up, but it's been great since. I dread putting on all the wet clothing. Oh. I'm going to take everything that's dry off and put it in its dry bag. That way it stays good through the hike because everything would just get soaked again. Otherwise, and then I'll put the dry stuff back on when I get to the car. Just messaging my wife to let her know I'm packing up and I'm gonna head out. If you don't have an inReach or some, some kind of device similar, I highly recommend it. Um, this is the old one. I believe they still make this one, but there is a newer one with a touch screen and stuff, but it's a lot heavier and it doesn't have this insane battery life that this one has. I highly recommend these. Absolutely incredible for, for instance, checking the weather throughout the night just to make sure things were going to be okay and having a good idea of a window to get out of here in the morning and being able to message and you got maps. Basically, it's a full backup to things like my phone or my watch or a map. It's just incredible. Incredible value. <laughs> got my wet clothing back on. What a wonderful way to wake up. <laughs> oh man. It was very cold to put on, but it's already starting to warm up. Uh, just one of the magical properties of wool. That's how all these little guys out here are going about their day like it's nothing. My legs will not be warm though, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I really, really made a mistake in not bringing my long johns. I just, when I looked at the temperature, I just, I don't know, I just didn't think about it. But it would have been a good backup if my trousers soaked through, which they did. So putting those on is going to be pretty miserable, but I'll put the waterproofs on over the top of them, and that'll trap in all the heat, even though it'll be uncomfortable. All right, bag's packed. Just got to put away the camera, and then deal with this. <laughs> May be miserable out, but it still is pretty. so much trouble to actually fold it up nicely it's because I'm only using a 45 liter pack so I have to really get it tight to get it in there
All right, leave no trace as always. That's where we were. I kept hearing running water all night. I was wondering what it was. Little fall there. Pretty much no visibility. Now, oh, this video is gonna be terrible. <laughs> I apologize about the quality. I can't keep the lens dry for the life of me. All right, about an hour and a half. It's two hours back, depending on the conditions. Probably an hour and a half, because it's downhill. Let's get started. Oh, I don't think I've ever felt so miserable before on a camp. I'm warm, which is good, except for my legs and my hands, but man. are definitely worse over here. This is where I was heading yesterday. <laughs> that would have been horrible. <laughs> this is the path. <laughs> I mean, you, all you can do is laugh, right? <laughs> Completely drenched. <laughs> At least it's not pouring like it did yesterday. It's raining, but it's not pouring, which is good. What does it through hikers say? Embrace the suck. <laughs> it's all you can really do, I guess. This is the kind of stuff that's making things a lot slower than normal. Normally this would be pretty easy to cross, but as you can see that water's moving pretty fast. You don't want to slip and hit your head on one of those rocks. All right, yesterday I crossed a little bit further up, so I'm gonna have to do that again. This is light rain. <laughs> Yesterday, ugh, it still frustrates me. It said light rain all day. That was not light rain. <laughs> I can't, I've lost count of how many stream and river crossings I've had to do. All right guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm almost back. I just have to cross the river and then head out. So probably another mile. Definitely one of the wettest trips I've done in a long time. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Please like, share, get outside, later. Maybe don't get outside when it's like this though. Now.